Hey there, viewers! It's never too late to correct bad habits. These include the habits that endanger your kidneys. The kidneys work 24-7 to flush out toxins from your body. If they stop working, the toxins will remain in your body. In fact, the biggest problem with kidney damage is that it's often irreversible. This means prevention is the only cure. In today's video, we'll be talking about 7 innocent mistakes that get your kidneys in trouble. Are painkillers a factor? Could fast food be putting them through stress? What about all those supplements you eat for your health? We'll be talking about all this and more. Number 1. Overusing painkillers Don't get me wrong, I don't want you to suffer in silence. If you're in pain, you might need to pop a painkiller. But if you use them too frequently, they'll damage your kidneys. Frequent use of pain meds can cause fluid retention, digestive issues, and increased blood pressure. All of these can directly impact your kidneys. You might think that these risks are associated with prescription painkillers only. Unfortunately, both over-the-counter meds and prescriptions damage your kidneys. Over-the-counter ones like aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen should not be taken regularly, especially if you want your kidneys to last a lifetime. In case you're experiencing decreased kidney function, be careful of what type of pain medication you're taking. There is a certain type, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that reduce blood flow to the kidneys. And don't think if you're healthy, you're safe from the side effects. Taking high doses over long periods of time will damage your kidneys. This is why doctors try to keep you on low doses for the shortest time possible. Make it a habit to read the labels of medicines you're taking and see what's going on inside your body. If you're getting head or stomach aches far too often, visit a doctor instead of just popping a painkiller. A lot of the time, we try masking our health problems by taking over-the-counter pills. Are you fully aware of the risks of taking painkillers? Tell us in the comments section. Number 2. Eating processed food regularly If you're a fan of processed foods, I have news that you're not going to like. Time and time again, healthcare experts tell us to stay away from it. But the majority of discussion is centered around obesity and diabetes. Did you know that processed food can wreak havoc on your kidneys as well? There are multiple reasons behind this. They're loaded with sodium and phosphorus. Excess of both of these minerals is bad for your kidneys. When your body has too much sodium to deal with, it tries to get rid of it by making you pee again and again. This means you keep losing fluids and calcium. Calcium in urine increases your risk of developing kidney stones. Another problem with processed foods is that it contains added sugar. You might not even realize how high your intake is increasing. Your favorite cereals, sauces, and breads all contain sugar. This increases obesity and poses a high risk of you developing diabetes. Both of these are big contributing factors to kidney disease. For the same reason, you need to steer clear of all the deli meats and frozen meals. They're heavily processed. So, are there foods you should be avoiding specifically to keep your kidneys healthy? Certainly. The first one that needs to be struck off is soda. I know how it sounds. Soda and burgers make a powerful pair. Add fries to that and you feel on top of the world. But sodas are just empty calories. They offer no nutritional value. Just extra calories and a huge amount of sugar. Diet sodas are no better either. There have been studies linking regular soda consumption to kidney damage, metabolic syndrome, osteoporosis, and dental issues. And yes, butter and mayonnaise are on that list too. They're high in saturated fats. The fat-free versions are loaded with sodium, so either way, they're bad for your kidneys. Both saturated and trans fats stress them out. Number 3. Not drinking enough water I don't know about you, but making sure I drink enough water is quite the task for me. Blame it on a busy lifestyle or general ignorance, but it's so easy to get dehydrated. In fact, a lot of the time, the sweet cravings we have, that's just because our body is dehydrated and asking for you to drink water. When you're dehydrated, even your brain can't think clearly, and you get brain fog, making it difficult to concentrate. But how can not drinking enough water damage your kidneys? Kidneys are sensitive to blood flow. When you're dehydrated, your blood pressure drops which means blood flow to your kidneys also drops. That's not all. Your kidneys need you to be well hydrated so they can flush excess sodium and toxins from your body. And of course, those dreadful kidney stones. Drink plenty of water if you don't want to experience the horrible pain of kidney stones. Number 4. Adding table salt to your food If you want to keep your kidneys young and healthy, cut back on the sodium. The salt shaker on the dining room table? Just remove it. 
When you eat foods loaded with sodium, you increase your risk of high blood pressure, which is dangerous for your kidneys. In fact, this is the leading cause of kidney failure. So how do you cut back on your salt intake? First of all, opt for in-season fruits and vegetables. Avoid processed and prepackaged foods. This means no packaged meat, pre-made noodles, or frozen meals. Canned foods are a bad idea. All of them will contain a high amount of sodium. If you want a chickpea salad or bean soup, get them fresh, soak them for a few hours, and boil. Make it a habit to read labels. The amount of sodium in food will be listed on the label. You can also use spices and seasonings that don't contain salt to add more flavor to your food. This way, it's easy to cut back on salt without forcing yourself to eat tasteless food. Natural foods like cottage cheese contain a high amount of salt. I'm not asking you to stop eating them altogether, just eat in moderation. On average, it'll take about six to eight weeks to undo the salt addiction. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. Watch this to learn what happens to your body when you eat too much sodium. Number five, eating too much meat. Are you eating meat all the time? So much so that it can be a bit too much? It could be damaging your kidneys. Meat makes it difficult for kidneys to remove acid from the blood. In fact, there's a medical condition for when there's so much acid in your blood that your kidneys are unable to remove it. This happens because of animal protein generating a high amount of acid in the blood while digesting. You definitely need protein to grow, repair, and maintain your body tissues, but an excess of everything is harmful. Number six, smoking and drinking. Lung cancer isn't the only thing cigarettes leave you with. It damages blood vessels, contributes to higher blood pressure, and increases the risk of kidney failure. Quitting smoking decreases your chances of getting kidney cancer. A study found that quitting smoking for 16 or more years reduces the risk of the most common form of kidney cancer in adults. If you're a heavy drinker who wants to see their kidneys happy and healthy, you need to find a way to reduce your daily drinking. Having more than four drinks a day doubles your risk of getting a chronic kidney disease. Number seven, casual use of supplements. Do you purchase natural supplements a lot? You could be harming your kidneys and not even knowing it. If you think everything labeled natural is good for your body, you're flat out wrong. There are traditional medicines and herbs that can damage your kidneys. For instance, many contain a plant-based ingredient capable of scarring your kidneys. Since you're curious to know, it is acid. In fact, the FDA warns you to stay away from products containing certain acids. You can read the labels to make sure that the product you're buying doesn't contain them. Check with your doctor before starting any supplements long term. Are you stuck with any of these habits? Did you know about any of them before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.